Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Love Our Life. Today we are looking at some more epic universe construction updates. As always, we have a few things to get into. We're going to talk about Celestial Park and how to train your dragon and Dark Universe. We're going to talk about it all. So let's get into it. So come on and join me. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Like I just said, we're going to hop into some Epic Universe updates and talk about everything here that we need to talk about, which is going to be a lot of fun. In the last video, we covered some How to Train Your Dragon and Super Nintendo stuff, but today we're going to get into some more Celestial Park, some Dark Universe, all that kind of stuff. Actually, we're just going to cover everything today, but the first thing that we're going to start off with today is the Stella Nova Resort, or Terra Luna Resort, I should say, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see that there's still some construction going on here. We actually, they don't have the panels finished for that yet. But they're getting really close to getting them finished. So hopefully we'll get those done soon. I just drove by earlier this morning and it looks really good. I didn't actually capture any footage for you guys. I will be doing one of those videos very soon on site. But you can see here on the other side of it, they're still doing some stuff. I actually saw somebody chilling out in one of the windows today. Like he was propped up on the window. You could tell he was texting someone. It was kind of cool to see them, uh, you know, just chilling out. Um, this one right here, we're going to take a look at this. This aerial photo of Stella Nova Resort. The sidewalk is number one over here, available to Epic Universe. Number two, a decades old bridge over the canal um, that feeds into the Shingle Creek and the Florida Everglades. And then number three is the staging of a curse of the werewolf wagon covered in plastic, which we we might get to. Uh, four is the race traffic circle construction uh, over here to the left. So everything's looking good. We're going to keep on with these updates because we know what's going on. Now this is a look back at February 1st, 2019. Just to kind of show you guys what it all looked like. Everything was just kind of barren wasteland at that point. And nothing had been built. And you can see the apartments right here to the left that are always there. Um, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff that those were there like that. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting when all this is said and done and everything. So, we're going to keep on going. Uh, okay, here we go. There's some aerial views of the epic bu building. Uh, the access for day guest parking for Epic Universe, uh, exclusive bus lanes, sidewalk construction, and sidewalk to Stella Nova. This is all included in here. And if you look down to the bottom left, we can see some monkey trouble going on with the Donkey Kong coaster over there, which looks really good. So we're pretty excited about that. Now let's get into this. We're going to talk about some portal stuff. We're going to talk about the Kronos, which is at the front of the park. Uh, here is an aerial view of the Portal Universe and the Cascading Water near at the Atlantic Restaurant, which is going to be up to the top left here, or the actually top right, uh, kind of center there. Uh, and it's going to be all glass windows going around there according to the presentation. So that looks really good, and uh, the Kronos is yet to start going vertical. Um, it is just right there at the beginning. This is going to be the Portal leading into Epic Universe but it's not yet gone vertical. So hopefully very soon it will go vertical. But as of right now, nothing to report on that. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? You know, it's just, it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Aerial photo of the Celestial Carousel area. You can see here they're starting to add some color in here with the blue at the bottom. Now, obviously this is gonna be a water feature going around that, which is gonna be really cool. Uh, right next to it and then we have the big fountain over to the right we haven't talked about the big fountain in a while that sits in front of the helios uh, which is the hotel but you can kind of see in this photo here if you look over to the left the left of the photo there is the actual portal where you walk into the park and walking in here uh, you can see there is where the carousel is so everything's just kind of working together here and uh getting more design to come together uh, right here. Um, I believe um, that this up at the top here, uh, the top right, yeah, is the barbecue restaurant leading into Dark Universe over to the right. So actually the left here, this might be the portal into Super Nintendo. 
Yes, that is the portal in Super Nintendo. I apologize for that. But that is what that is there. And here is a better look here of the Celestial Carousel and Epic Universe looking legit. Looking good. I like all the blues that they're adding to it. Like the It's like a navy blue up at the top. Looks really good. And of course, they've added the painting down below and all that good stuff. So we're getting all that and everything's just kind of flowing together here. So now let's talk about Donkey Kong for a little bit. At the left of this aerial photo is a barrel that we will be placed on the lift hill. We've talked about the barrel before, but here is the barrel again right here to the left. And it's actually been painted this time. So that looks good. And then here is the backside of this where it's going to go back around and you're going to have the jumps there. And then, of course, the donkey face, donkey Kong face, not a donkey face, a monkey face will be right up here to, towards the center, uh, which will look really good once they're done with that. So pretty exciting stuff. They, they keep going um, there. Uh, here's another photo here uh, in this aerial photo. Uh, let's back it up here. Let's see if we can get back into this one. It's actually not going to let me. Uh, this is a revealed, uh, recently revealed wood plank at the track. A pair of screaming pillars, number two. Uh, here we go. There it goes. Um, so number one over here at the top is the track. Number two is a uh, pair of screaming pillars, which were different characters there. And then three is rock work being painted by uh, at, a, at a splash pool. And then four is the concrete forms here. So it's looking good. You know, they're just keeping on, keeping on. And here's a little bit better look here. And the recently added character. Number one, you can see him up there. It's kind of like the ancient temple character. Uh, number two is revealed wood plank of the track. And then number three is one of the screaming pillars down there, which we just covered. And four is a track moved inside the car uh, by the maintenance bay. Now, there has been some reports of everything like testing and, and all that with Donkey Kong. Um, you can find those videos. I'm not going to show those. Um, I think it's all about respecting Universal's privacy. And you're like, well, you know, you're showing these. But these are, believe it or not, done off property. They're just zoomed in with a very good telephoto lens. So <clears throat> that's the only reason that we do that. And also, I should mention <laughs> that all of these come from BioReconstruct. As always, we always give BioReconstruct credit. But sometimes I just forget to mention it at the beginning. But yes, so, so um, yeah, some stuff I won't show because I feel like, you know, it might be too risky to show it. And um, Universal has been so good to us. I don't want to do anything to get on their bad side. So that's pretty much why I won't show certain things. Um, but anyway, back to it. Here we go. We have some more Yoshis going on. Preparation for concrete pour number one. Number two is a fountain outside the Nintendo store. And number three is the Pizza Moon restaurant, which we haven't heard a lot of people talk about. My buddy and I were talking about this the other day. It's like a lot of people haven't talked about Pizza Moon. But I'm pretty excited about Pizza Moon because I think it'll be legit. Like, I think um, hopefully the pizza will be really good. But I think, think the theming there will be top notch. And that everything else that they'll have in there will just be great. I'm, I'm hoping. Um, so I'm looking forward to Pizza Moon. Uh, here's another look here at the Yoshi cars going around. They have the, some of the piranha plants that are actually covered, um, like towards the middle of the photo here. And uh, different ones, green, purple, orange, red, blue, yellow. They're so cool. And then, of course, uh, do they have the egg out here? Uh, I don't see the egg. The egg is going to be the one for um, disability uh like riders and stuff like that and people that may have to you know transfer from a wheelchair and it may be a plus size rider one too i'm not sure on that um i'll have to get more info on that but uh, from what i understand for our plus size rider friends um that um that these actually the restraints that they have over in hollywood are very tight so keep keep that in mind we, we will see i know universal's been working on making stuff a little more plus size friendly. Uh, aerial photo of the Starfall Racers and How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke and Epic Universe. 
looks amazing at the Starfall Racers down here at the bottom left. And then, of course, going into How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke, which looks great. I keep calling it How to Train Your Dragon Land because that's just what I'm used to calling it. So I'm going to have to get over myself on that one, you know, uh, to try to learn that and what that is. Uh, and then we have some more stuff here. Um, here's another aerial photo. We've spent a lot of time on how to train your dragon, so we're not going to spend tons of time on that today because we've spent so much time on it before. But if you want to watch more of that, check out the previous video. Like I mentioned, link down below. It's got a ton of how to train your dragon stuff in that one. Um, and then we can see here we have some concrete stages formed here. We have concrete forms, lands on the theater, uh, logs raised for construction, and then four recently built log structure there to the right uh looks good i mean there's so much going on with this uh you know like i said we're just gonna briefly go over that real quick because it's just like overall it's just one of those weird things where how it keeps like showing up here that um just the more additions that they add to it just looks great and here you go you can actually see uh the aerial photo of the theater back here so they're adding some structures there um for to go into that so it looks really good and then this will be our last how to train your dragon one and then we'll move on from that uh here um how to train your dragon land newest log construction structures number one number two the entrance to the rally so this is what it's going to be called uh number three is dragon house or box seats in grand scan grandstands hiccups wing gliders so it looks pretty cool. So maybe you'll be able to kind of like, maybe it's going to be theming or maybe people can sit there and watch from there. Not entirely sure. Uh, one thing that you guys have really been talking to me about and that you really wanted to see, and I got several comments over the last few days, was that you guys want to talk about Dark Universe. And of course, Dark Universe is a thing that I really want to talk about and we really didn't cover last time. We covered a lot of Harry Potter. We covered everything really other than that um so i'm going to pull that up for you guys for you guys to see but we're going to start first with the helios so let's talk about this one real real quick because we have a couple of things here uh, here's an aerial photo uh interesting section of the top floor of the helios grand hotel you can see it's right here at the west is dark universe end of the tower so just over there to the west of that is what that looks like there but let's pull this one up here here we go we have the dome top of the Grand Helios, which looks amazing. As I'm looking at this, they're continuing to complete it. They're trying their best to get this all done, um, but it looks awesome. They're starting to put actually steel frames up around the sides of it. Remember when it was just steel wiring, steel frame wiring or whatever it's called. Remember when it was like that. And now we're at the point that we're at now. And uh, it just looks good. Here's a closer view here. Uh, some strips are staged at the left here for more uh, to go up on and around. It's just crazy how construction is done, right? Like, it's really crazy that all these things have to get on top there, like the lighting rigs and stuff so they can work at night. It, I really uh, credit them to what they do. And, uh, oh, this is at the uh, lagoon. Look at the fountain array in the Universal Lagoon. There's rows of fountains sway. So that's a little different. That's kind of out of place there. Um, but we will continue here. Here is Dark Universe. You guys have been talking about this. Aerial photo of the manor in Dark Universe. Looking good. Uh, you can see how they're really starting to put this together. I did see this today. Uh, from afar, I saw this from today. And this really is something that I'm really looking forward to. I know a lot of people have said like what's your favorite thing and have asked me and i've said dark universe and you guys have said oh everybody's looking forward to dark universe but i'm really looking forward to dark universe i love the theming it's just going to be amazing uh here's another aerial photo showing the scaffolding that's been removed on the village here this looks so good i mean um i this is why i think this section is going to be the sleeper section it's going to be so good because I love the feel of it, the look of it. It's definitely, um, I love the old school, like, like castle feel to things. And this is going to do it right here. This just looks 
beautiful to me. And we got some more stuff here. Uh, number one, scaffolding at the gate of the manor. Number two, interesting tall frames on the roof of the manor, which is right there. Number three, wood beam theming at the Burning Blade Tavern. And four, an uncovered wagon in the Curse of the Dragon. Or Curse of the Dragon. Were werewolf Q. So everything's looking really good. They are moving very fast. Someone said in the comments in the last video, why do you think they're going to be done by 2025? It's because Universal said that they're going to be. And they're moving really fast. I mean, they have pavement to pour. They have all that stuff. But really, in reality, that doesn't take super long they can do that pretty fast uh number one is the paving at the portal you can see the portal to the left here number two is the scaffolding down this side of the village so they still have a little bit of scaffolding up there number three is scaffolding mostly down at gated entrance for the featured attraction at the manor which is going to be right in here so you'll walk in here and that's where you'll walk into the attraction and number four is the uncovered wagon that we talked about I don't know if we have any closer photos. We might actually have that. Uh, straight down aerial photo of part of the Curse of the Werewolf coaster and the Burning Blade Tavern and Dark Universe. I mean, it's, there's not a lot for me to say about this. It just looks great. And just kind of gives you an idea of the track of the coaster. And then there's some SeaWorld stuff. So overall, um, yeah, I mean, it's looking great. Here's another shot of the Celestial Carousel which looks amazing. But what I'm the most interested in, what I think that is going to be really cool about this whole area is just how they're going to treat it, um, how they're going to have different things that show up, um, different characters maybe walking around. And the, the, I feel like they're going to treat this as a really good, great area, you know, like for just... Diving into the scariness, diving into the fear, like diving into all that. I feel like they have to overall. I feel like they have to, you know, just make it as dark and grungy and gritty as they can. And I'm all here for it. I think it would be an amazing thing uh, once they continue to do so and to just make it just pleasing to the environment and pleasing to the eye. But at the same time, you give it that evil, grungy look because that's what the monsters are. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the restaurants maybe having like um, barbecue and stuff like that, which I think would be cool because it's a callback to the old Monsters Cafe. Um, but overall, I, I think this is a great thing that they're doing. And as I'm trying to find the rest of the photos here... Let me know down in the comments what you think about Dark Universe. If you think it's the best one that they're going to uh, best land. Or if you think there's other ones that may be better. Um, that will eventually you know, uh, come to fruition. And that they'll actually add on to. Because I think it's really interesting to think about like when they're adding on to the park. Like what exactly they're going to do. Because that in itself will be just sweet. It's just sweet. All right, so back to it. Here we go. We got a portal here of Dark Universe. You can see here the colorful pattern concrete being uh, cast to a portal. Uh, at the left of the circular frame is the Celesti, Celestiki bar. Celestiki bar right here to the left. So that's pretty cool. So that gives you an idea of what it's going to look like going in. And I'm loving the colors. Almost like a purple color to it. Here's a better look at this here. Which looks great. Um, that is amazing. I think it just looks so great and so well done. Um, on that side of it. Just walking into it, I feel like it's just going to give you just this sense of scale. Like, you know, that... You're going to walk into something that you've never experienced before. You've never seen before. And then this is coming back here on this side as well. So you can kind of see everything there. So everything just looks amazing. It looks great. Um, I can't say that enough. Uh, there's just so much more that we need to talk about with, with all the stuff. And here's the coaster here as well. 
going around and we've seen it testing we did it we did a video on the testing of that and uh, you guys should check that out that will be linked down below it's almost like a Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind uh, coaster is almost like that so if you have experience uh, riding that or seeing that you know what, you're, what I'm talking about uh, the mid course barn here right in the middle where you're gonna go right through um, a wagon has been added to the right so there's the wagon we've been talking about right here to the right which is cool it's amazing how all this stuff is just just looks it just looks so good and of course we have more here which looks great <laughs> You cannot argue that this does not look, in a sense, epic. That it doesn't look like something that belongs here. Back of house gate here for Dark Universe. Looking so good. Ariel, look at the village here in Dark Universe. Look at that. So I'm assuming, is that going to be the exit to the attraction right there? It might be, actually. It might be. Uh, the exit to the attraction because that could come back around. Uh, aerial photo of the area of village, dark universe, protected plastic is held by red tape in the facade center. Okay, but either way, I mean, it, it looks great, it really does. And dark universe just uh keeps like impressing me what it's going to be. Uh, the guests will enter the land at the winding path at the right, which is right here. Okay, so you go through and you go around and then you come through here. Okay, uh, past gravestones and a crypt. That's pretty cool. So you go around up there. That's awesome. That is so cool. And then here's a further back photo showing you... Um, the winding walk path gravestones and crypt to each broken stone gate. So you can kind of see that there where you'll walk through. So it's probably going to feel like very, when you walk in, like very close in. And then I think it'll expand uh, up, to, up there. So very interesting what they're doing. And then this is when you're going to walk in. I'm assuming this is going to be some t uh, type of a fountain in the middle right here of some sort. Uh, I think that's probably what that'll be, uh, but it looks good. It overall, I, mean, I, I love what I'm seeing. I've starting to get a sense of how it's going to feel. You know, you walk in and see that be shops around. There'll be everything else around. It'll just be a great experience. And uh, like I said, I'm I'm all here for it. Look at that. Three hillsides of the Burning Blade Tavern at the right and back of House Gate in you know, Epic Universe. So, I mean, you know, overall, pretty impressive how fast they're moving. Um, an aerial photo of the scaffolding of the Windmill ta Tower uh, of the Burning Blade Tavern. So there's the Windmill Tower there. So it's looking good. I cannot complain a bit of what we're seeing here and then here we go this is aerial photo of sections of dark universe just looks amazing look at that i mean this looks so good i saw this from the road earlier today and it's just like oh my gosh of course it was like this big to me but uh still it was awesome to see that that is amazing i cannot wait for epic universe to open and i know you guys are getting excited we're gonna get some more details talk about some things in our next video about what we think is going to happen for opening week, opening weekend, opening week, whatever they do. Um, some predictions of what's coming, um, how they're going to handle the ticket system and all that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty excited and I hope you guys are too. I know you guys are. I, I see the comments. I, I see what you guys are saying and you guys are pretty excited. But... Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the row goes ever on. I will see you next time.